I guess not within that community. Yeah. Well, I, I, I get that, but I don't know if he's actually losing support from that community based on those other numbers and these reference data points. Um, Basil, we know Trump's also talking about skipping the first debate, so not going to Iowa for these events, not going to debate, but the debate is important for a lot of these candidates, we know, and there are a couple new ones that have now reached the threshold. We're told Tim Scott, as well as Chris Christie, both got 40,000 donors now. That was one of the requirements. Christie seemed to promise fireworks. Uh, he tweeted out, get your popcorn. And it, it does seem like Christie's been getting under Trump's skin lately. The two have been sort of trading jabs on social media. But I wonder if Trump doesn't show up for the debates, does Christie's hits have the same punch. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because Ron DeSantis was that guy that was getting, seemed to get under Trump's skin just a little bit. Um, but it's important to note that, as Susan says, Trump is playing the Rose Garden strategy. He'll step aside, he'll realize that he's got uh, a lot of support already, so it's really, uh, the onus is really on this sort of second tier, if you will, of candidates to differentiate themselves from each other and from Donald Trump at the same time. That's actually proven to be somewhat difficult for them if they're not coming out and attacking him. Chris Christie is probably the best of that group at doing so, but the others are trying to sort of play this game of aligning themselves with Trump without actually going after him in a way that will alienate Trump's own base. So having said that, Chris Christie might be able to stand out, but the question is, does he stand out enough and does he land enough punches to be able to create himself as the alternative to Donald Trump? Uh, I don't know that there's evidence to suggest that that can happen yet. Always more to discuss, guys, but I gotta leave it there today because we have some breaking news I gotta get to right now. Thank you so much, Basil Smeichel and Susan Del Percio.